Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily animate your text without spending hours manually adjusting keyframes. Let's get started. Select the text tool and create your text. Once that's done, the first thing I like to do is fix the anchor point, because by default it's often misplaced like this. For many animations, it's best to keep the anchor point centered. To fix it, hold Ctrl and double-click the anchor point tool to center it. Once that's done, let me show you another shortcut to center the text with a single click. Make sure the text layer is selected, then hold Ctrl and press Home, and your text will snap right to the center of the screen. Just note that this shortcut works with any layer, so make sure the text layer is selected to adjust its position. For this tutorial, I'll I'll drag the text down slightly to make things easier to see. Now we can start animating the text. Usually, to create a basic animation, we open the text settings, click animate, and choose opacity. Next set the opacity to 0%. After that, expand range selector 1 and start adjusting the start value to animate the text. Set it to 0 and click the start stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then scroll forward to the point where you want the text to be fully revealed and set start to 100%. Now the basic text animation is ready. It looks really cool, and I use it all the time for text animations. You can also click it here and choose any property you want to animate but there are even more options that don't require manual adjustments like this one. Let me quickly show you how. Let's go to effects and presets. If you don't see it, you can enable it from the window menu. Make sure it's enabled, then expand animation presets, open presets, and expand text. Here you'll find a bunch of built-in text animation presets that can save you a lot of time. These presets are great because you can customize each one after applying it, which really helps make your animations look much better. Let's expand the 3D text folder, grab any preset, and apply it to the text layer to see how it looks. That already looks really cool and smooth, and we didn't spend any time manually adjusting keyframes. Let's try one more. This one looks good too. All you need to do is take some time and go through these presets to understand what each one does. I personally like a preset under tracking called Stretchy. Let's apply it quickly and check it out. It looks really good. Even I don't know all of the presets yet, I usually stick to the ones I like, but it's definitely worth taking the time to go through them and test them in your edits. Now let me show you how to track text into a video while keeping all the animations. Select your video, then under the tracker panel click track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing. Once that's done, select a few points where you want the text to be tracked and create a solid in camera. Now enable 3D on your text layer. To make sure the text is tracked accurately and perfectly in the scene, select the track solid layer, press P on your keyboard, copy its position, and paste it onto the text layer. This will place the text in the exact same tracked position, making it stick perfectly to the scene. Now adjust the text size and position until it looks right. Once everything looks the way we planned, toggle off the tracked solid layer and check the result. Everything looks good, the text is animated and perfectly tracked. In case you want to remove the animation from the text, you won't be able to control it directly from the effects control panel. Instead, press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes created by the preset, then remove them by clicking the stopwatch icon. After that, right-click on the property and select Reset to restore the effect. Next expand the range selector, and if any of the values are not set to zero by default, simply change them back to 0%. This will leave you with text that has no animation. Now you can open the text presets again and apply any preset you want. In my case, the animation is a bit too slow, but we can easily adjust it to make it faster or slower. Press U to reveal the keyframes. To speed up the animation, move the keyframes closer together. You can also reposition them to control the exact point where the animation starts. So that's it. I hope this helps you improve your text animations. Thank you for watching, and please consider liking the video if you found it helpful.